Silence your cell phones. I can tell all my students, silence your cell phone. Or, or get out of my class. We got to silence your cell phone, folks. And, and all the talking back there, Spongy and Company. Thank you. Shut it down, please. Shut it down. Shut it down. That's a wrap. Shut it down. All right. Uh, I appreciate your presence. It's, it's uh, really. A sad occasion, but you know, I appreciate your presence. And, 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 yeah, it's, it's, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. And we're here together to show respect at all times. And, and I'm, I'm going to be first in speaking, uh, give tribute regarding to the, the family, the, the siblings, and then everybody's going to step forward and, and handle her, her siblings. And, and then we're going to, Sandra Spence is going to give her blessings. It's time you want to keep it very a bridge very short. I uh, appreciate your, your cooperation in this matter. I'm, I'm joking, Sandra. Do what you got to do. And, and then we, and then we got an open tribute to want to come and say something about Reverend JB, baby, all kind of names, many names. But I'm gonna start. Uh welcome on again. And JB has a uh, big family. Now you don't realize that. <laughs> siblings, a lot of siblings, man. And 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 it comes from Gertrude and, and Star Buddington. Uh, my father started calling Bruno. Yeah. Man, of, man of my own image. I want all the boys that image of the Buddington. Something special about us, I'm telling you. And 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 and, and, and Gertrude Buddington called him Miss G. What I saw the talk age. Gentlemen, silence. And, and, uh, her, but my mom, Gertrude Bunk, called her G, Miss Sweeney. Everybody, sorry, cell phones buying. My brother phone is on. Okay. Uh, but Miss Gertrude Bunnington, they call her Miss G Sweeney, but never called her Bunnington. My mom, first night was Sweeney, then she married my dad, and the big man on campus. My dad was a big man. You know what I mean? He sought her out and get her right. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> my pop, my pop said that. <laughs> <laughs> but, but first and foremost, my older sister, or G, G. Buddington, uh, uh, she lives in, in San Lamont in St. Percy Park. Mm -hmm. And Jesus take care of me as a kid. You know? I always wonder why I lived so nice to me that I realized my father was the first child, G. I talked to her last. He's a short, but yeah, that's you. And then came Sonia. Where's Sonia? Where's, where's Sonia? Mm -hmm. And so one well, my sister, Sonia, Sonia Buddington. Can you stand, please? I take off the mask off. Yeah. If we can see it, please. Yeah, so yeah. I'm calling out my sister. Yeah, Sonia Buddington. That now. And, uh, and and then here come the Sweeney's. Boy, oh, them Sweeney's sometimes. So it's Samba. My brother's Andre from Brooklyn. He's a Samba. Delroy Sweeney. That's my brother. Then yeah, Danny Brown. Y'all know Danny Van Sweeney. He died a couple years ago. Uh, then he raised me. Uh, but Danny raised me to be my dad was my Danny one who kind of brought me up to be a man to go down one and dance with woman. Why the wife? I'm in church. I mean, can I say yeah. okay? You wind up on woman and just have a beard, strap beard. He taught me how to be the man and uh, walk the streets at night, you know, smoke cigarettes, all kind of crazy stuff. But that's my brother. Then Paulette, my sister, Paulette, she lives in Florida. Paulette, as some of you know, Paulette, my sister, Paulette. And then he, he called the big guy on campus. Big daddy came over that me. <laughs> Steve Burton. I, I came. And then after that was Jillian. And then my sister, she was in Mexico. She's a medical doctor, but she's kind of funny acting. So. <laughs> um, funny. Did I miss something, Sonia? Yeah. Yeah. Then Marcia. Oh, she like my mom. She like it. Yeah. Hug it up. Ooh, I want to hug you, hug you. And that's only a good friend. Yes, yeah. Have, and then uh, Bine. Bine. Yeah. Yes, Bine right there. My brother Bine. He's a man of few. The man of few words like my father. 
few words. You might say, I am. That's it, a few words. And, and then J.B. came after that. J.B., my mom said, where you came from? <laughs> my mom said, Steve, where this boy came from? I said, I don't know him there. I talked to my dad. Yeah, my dad work it out. So he came along, J.B. came around, and we called him Baby. He was fat. He was called him Baby. He was fat. We called him Bowler. He was so fat. Fat and round, you know? And, and then came to America, migrated, and I served in J.B., and then Reverend. And then, I, said, I know Baby and Bowler. That's who I know. I mean, but 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 he was very intelligent, sharp, sharp, very sharp. I had to sit down, and I'm not bragging, but our gene pool somehow. I'm just saying, this is my old gene pool. Ooh, I'm kind of sharp. I'm kind of sharp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm no disrespect, but but it's in gene pool. My cousin in French, William Street. We should, if we want to be sharp, we're sharp, no doubt. Anything we do, we're gonna do very well. Good, better, and different. We're gonna be good at it, you know. What I mean? But so we're blessed with that. But but that's my family side, folks. That's my the brother, the brother Sweeney, but we're one family. You never know who was what or what growing up. All of us were we're like one family. We we'll never know. And Sweeney, Danny Brown, JB, uh, but he was he was a good dude, good dude. And I miss him when I come to New York, hang out, check him, do what we got to do, and and and. I miss bro. And, and I'm saying my sisters, I'm uh, sorry they couldn't make it. For whatever reason, they couldn't make it, but but I'm here to represent the, the family, the sibling side. And, and I appreciate your presence. Appreciate your presence. And, and thank you very much for listening to me. Mm-hmm. I know we're going to have uh, Ebony. No crime. No crime. No I'm joking. Don't do your thing. All right. And much love. Okay. Hi, everyone. Good evening. I'm Ebony Buddington. I'm the oldest daughter. All right. So, first and foremost, um, I want to thank everyone for being here. And, um, I want to thank everyone that was able to help make this service possible. Um, as a family, we don't plan on deaths. We don't. We plan weddings, we plan birthdays, but we don't plan on this. So it's never easy. Um, but I don't want today to be terribly sad, um, even though it's probably inevitable. I want it to be a celebration because that's how my dad was. Um, for all who truly know JB, we all know that he was a very giving man. He was a very caring man. If he didn't have, he would have given his last. I'm sure almost everyone in here, if not everyone, can think of a time where JB was there for you, whether big or small, emotional or physically, financially or spiritually. He found a way because that's just him. I just want to to end with a text message Dad sent me on. November 11th, I shared this with some of the siblings already, but I would like to share it with everyone. Just if an example of where his head at was majority of the time. I love you, Ev. I'm down for a minute. I messed up mentally and physically, but Ev just being the man, just begging the man to give me one good year that I need is to see all my children together for a little time to talk, laugh, and cook, and eat, you know, and cry together. God knows that, but I'm a good fa- I'm a good father. May not be the best dad sometimes, but I love my children. I love you, Eva. God knows I'm gonna make it better. <laughs> That's all he ever wanted. <laughs> I 
that's all he ever wanted. He wanted the best for his kids. He wanted the best for his friends. He was always there for everybody. And I want us to remember him for that, for the best days, for the best times we have with him. Thank you all for coming. It's kind of rough for us to look at. Hey, hey. Sometimes I got coming. You can't do it. God is good. All the time. But I don't know like it. God is good. All the time. All the time. All the time. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Uncle is showing his respect. My name is Sandra Spencer. I'm the daughter of the most infamous Avril Comrie Johnson. And I had to come and pay my respects to the Bonington family. Uncle, we already know you. Know. <laughs> And I have to tell you, it's a testament of love to have you all here. But it's a greater testament of the man that JB was to see that even in death, his children, significant others, and his family are gathering together. We all are product of our lifestyles and we judge no one because we all have our demons that we struggle with, right? Mm -hmm. However, in spite of his demons, he had a great heart. Yes. In spite of his challenges, it was family first. In spite of anything that life threw at him, he wanted to ensure that he would never leave his children, even if it meant neglecting himself. Mm -hmm. I say to all of you, when you speak of Leslie, Bolo, JB, BB, Reverence, if you have nothing good to say, keep it to yourself. Amen. Because he was a man that didn't conform. You know, there are some of us who are spiritual. We have a personal relationship with God, but we're not holy rollers. Because there are some that jump and shout and make a lot of noise, but they don't know God. And there is not for us to judge anyone's lifestyle because we know somewhere in a corner, somewhere in a car, somewhere on a park bench, he has words with God. His children know him, and that's what's important. It's a testament of the man that he was, because as far back as my mom's generations, you're here. His mom's generations, you're here. Our generations were here. His children's generations were here. So we give honor to him. Ladies and gentlemen, right now we ask that you stand because I would like to send the family off with a word of prayer. Father God, we thank you, O oh Lord, for your blessings and your mercies. We thank you for your love, O oh Lord, in spite of ourselves. Scripture says to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. We pray, O oh Lord, that right now you hold Leslie in your bosom, O oh Lord. Right now you surround his family with your love, O oh Lord. Right now, O oh Lord, you send an extra hedge of protection around them, O oh Lord. Father God, scripture says that you heal the brokenhearted and you save the crushed spirit. Right now, each of them, O oh Lord, who has a crushed spirit and a broken heart, O oh Lord, we pray that you save them, that you heal them, that you protect them. Father God, we don't ask for provisions for the family, O oh Lord. We ask that you give them favor. In spite of the challenges, O oh Lord, we ask that you provide all of their needs. Father God, we just thank you for your love and your mercy, O oh Lord. We thank you for everything that you grant upon us, O oh Lord. We pray, O oh Lord, that thou that JB has gone on to you, O oh Lord, and now that his legacy continues, O oh Lord, that his children continue to maintain a connection so that his children's children can know about what person their father and their grandfather was, oh Lord. Father God, we just thank you. We honor you. We give you all the love and all the glory. We thank you, oh Lord, for our going out and our coming in. 
Father God, give them a peace that passes all understanding, oh Lord. And when there's a time, oh Lord, they do not know what to say or do not know what to do, oh Lord. You just have them be still because we know that you are God and you are God all by yourself. Amen. Father God, we just thank you. We honor you. We give you praise and the glory. In Jesus' name we say, amen. 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 Leslie, Ola, JV, Baby, stand in power and rest in peace, my brethren. Thank you. Amen. My heart goes out to you. I'm um, I try for no ball, you know. And then I'm gonna try hard not to cry because you know uh, but it's difficult. Now I'm gonna have my act uh anyone who wanna come out and, and pay tribute to, to JB, you can step forward and uh I'll try to keep it short so we give as many as many people as far opportunity to say a word or two. Anyone? All right. Sorry. So um, I met JP in 2015. Um, he's my brother's dad. And um, from the time I met him, he has treated me the best. Um, he treated me like I was his child. Never had to miss out on anything. He made sure that I was okay, that I had things. Um, I can say that he shared so much about his family and how big you guys are a part of his life and how much you guys all mean to him. Um, he shared about his children, how many he had <laughs> and the different lives that he's lived with each of you guys and the memories. Um, and um, he was a very wonderful person. He was a great person and um, I'm just so glad that he was loved by so many people and that he knows that he was loved by so many people. And um, it just shows that family is a big thing and that you should always take people for granted and just always hug each other and tell each other that you love them. Um, I have the, have a last message that he left me on my birthday and I just wanna share it with you. So, hope it pays. <laughs> And um, he was always telling me to stay strong and stay wise. So I know that I'll continue to carry that with me and to always tell my brother how of amazing a person he was and all the love that he's given to people and all the love that he's gotten back. Um, I know he wouldn't want us all to sit here and cry. He probably wouldn't yell at me right now for crying. But, <laughs> but I know these are happy tears to know that he is in a better place. He's no longer suffering and feeling pain. And that now that we can all just take from this and take all the memories and just continue to live on and spread his memory. So that's all I have to say. <laughs> Anyone else? Anyone want to come forward and share two words? Hello, everybody. Um, I'm one of JB's baby's mothers. <laughs> um, when I met JB, um, I really didn't know God. I didn't know the Lord. So um, that was something that he allowed me to recognize. So I'm going to share with you a prayer that he showed me, and it resonated with me even now, today. Um, it's Psalms 4, and it says, hear me when I call, O God of my righteousness. Thou hast enlarged me when I was in distress. Have mercy upon me and hear my prayer. O ye sons of men, how long will ye turn my glory unto shame? How long will ye love vanity and seek after least and salah? But know that the Lord hath set upon him that is godly for himself. The Lord will hear when I call unto him. Stand in awe 
and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There be many that say, who will show us any good? Lord, lift thou up the light of thy countenance upon us. Thou have put gladness in my heart. Thou more than in time that their corn and their wine increase. I will both lay me down in peace and sleep. For thou, Lord, only maketh me dwell in safety. So I say now, he is laying in peace Amen. as he sleeps. Amen. Amen. Oh, Father God, that's my brother from a different mother and father. My name is Samuel Fox. JB is like the only person that could come in my father's house at the age of 15 when I came here in 1977. He could only come in my house, not even mine. My father was allowed to come into his house. That's how close and how far we came coming from. Good man, great man. Well, same clothes, same shoes. Me and him wear the same size. Borrow my boots, go play ball, cook a little stew. Yes, we're born the thing. <laughs> Father always tell me that's the only friend that you really have. The rest of them, uh, but him, anytime. JB comes to my house, go in my fridge, take out anything he want, and we just live good like brother. I'm from Kingston, he come from Westmoreland. He came to Westmoreland, and people feel I'm going to live down here, I come from down there. <laughs> Because how they treat me and how they treat me. Can't say enough about him. Can't say enough about him. Yes, everybody have them to go ups and down in life. But him heart, good heart. Good heart. Blessed youth. Two year old on him. When you number call, you, know, you can't say it later, you know. You have to just go along with the program. Father God bless him. Have him live a good life. To the family, bless him too. Yeah. JB is my first son, which will be 40 years old. Mm. Before me. I know him say, Sammy, if I know you're you that. <laughs> with the two big ears, them teacher. Which are you're what? <laughs> Love him like a brother, man. Love him like a brother. Rest in peace, my brother. Tough for see you, that we are here, but good memories. All the years. Good memories. And all who know him, most of the youth have a good heart. Yeah. Father God, will bless him and make him rest in peace. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That's the Very good, I say. Sign. Very good. I say every time he says kiss me in the grips, every time you have a kiss in the grips. I say kiss the foot sometimes. I mean, first man take him to a party and he just come here. The ambassador would take him down. I need to learn it. Don't understand. Don't ambassador would have a sequel. They call him. He called me the banker for the yard, born and good. Wherever my boy Trust me, where's the banker? Me can put all my children in your lap. Baby sit on, um, 
<laughs> drive from and come up the hospital, the mother just been drive to the baby said to the daddy, you love Banker Jeff? The guy said, yes. I've been here and I'm Jojo, and I'm a baby like this, and I'll be able to sit there. Rasta now. He told me, you see before you die. And he said to me, yeah, you should have gotten me, I hurt him. And so he, Sorry. Hey, check her out. <laughs> <laughs> no, me up, me up, me up, hold on, me up here right now. We can get to you. <laughs> this is one of our GB friends, a patient. He's sick, that's why I can't not, not here right now. Saturday before JB passed, he talked to JB Friday morning. <laughs> he called me Saturday morning, JB did. That's right. He just called me, I'm sick, I'm here, I'm impatient. So I'm sitting there to hear me that in love. You have a chance, you can tell him. <laughs> yeah, I'm here, you're just, 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 just talk. <laughs> So anyway, no, 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 stay there, don't move. Don't move, when I'll finish I'll let you know, you heard. Okay, where I was, I was going to get, yes, I'm a reverend, he's the best chef. And so when you're cooking, put a little smile. When Reverend Mara was here, we used to cook like 
like the same like what's going on now. If somebody passed away, we cook. But the mother said, we suck, we suck. If we cook a wedding, we don't charge. And the Reverend mother said, man, we should charge. We should charge. But you know, that's Reverend. Reverend is the best. JB. And told me the kids are never one thing with him, as it as, as his friend said. The kids look like him years. So long as he's his kid, he will take care of it. And then never ask the bomb. <laughs> man, I, he had a lot. Who know really know what I'm talking? Yeah. Okay. Just got it short like that. But you will remember all the time. When you take your life, I'm going to remember you. Michael Jackson is great. Nobody don't, you don't hear much about Michael Jackson. And he's so famous. So, is everybody wrote that rev? I'm not going to get rev. Rev not going to get me. Be cooking around, I write some fees one time for a party. Junk. <laughs> you know, so bank of the rice don't come out good, you know, Papa. <laughs> drunk, you know, you write drunk. <laughs> um, you know, the party. One of the best rice and peas you know, cook on <laughs> You know, anything, anything in the river, you have to be good on it, you know? It's a bank, I put a little bit of it. It's not serious to the matter. <laughs> and it's true, you can't cook on it. You know that, right? Joy, I'm having a seat that will be, I mean, I will show you not here. Um, face it, it's on Facebook, and it's red. Look on the floor, that red there. And that's on one low red. Yeah. Check it, check it. So if any speak the whole congregation listen to you, and they understand. That's what I'm grateful to you. Yeah, you know. Okay. Okay. I know. Who knows? Why is that? I tell them I'm 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 using my patience so they understand. All right, later, my friend. Yeah, very nice. That's very nice. If anyone else want to come up and say a few words to, to the red? Good evening, everybody. I'm busy saying we're going to support JD. For the years I come here, I come in 82, I was 19 years old. I'm 60. It's a guy. If you need help, I'm going to turn you down. You have a good heart, and you will never stop called until God comes to this world. Yeah. But none of us know the days that are coming, but tomorrow bring for us. I'm going to God know. And it's when you chop in life, like you pass 60 above, and no more can play. But I can't tell from my heart. I can't come to all the man them up here, most of Jamaican and in the Bronx. When I run street back in this, it's a guy who could go to him any time. We have it never tell tell you no, I have to give you. And you never had no violence to nobody. All the gang was on those days, you know, take no side with none of them. And you could take side. I could take side too. When I look into things and see what I was doing, it was wrong. Take a bag and kill birth like that. I never in it. I could have him any more time machine I want. I never choose this world. I just make more ninja in life. And who I could help, I help. But I hope God have. God have a, a rest in place on him. And I hope God rest in peace. And and in children live off his name. Or his name will never stop God. Many of my friends don't come. I went to um to to a uh, dinner in um Cobb City. And I said, I can show my respect. Look at go. I take the bus and come. But I hope everybody have, have a road and we call a fianda. Yeah. You're gonna be there. Yeah. And God, rest day be soul in peace, reverent, big up. I will always love you. Thank you. Yeah. 
Anyone else want to step forward? Uh, I take a shot. Yeah, don't shoot nobody, man. Just come and speak. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, greetings. 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 JB is my friend. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, families and friends, I have known JB for more than 30 years. I've no found, I found no fault with this young man. He was a good and dear friend of mine. He was a good neighbor. He was a hard worker. JB was a brother. JB is very intelligent if you listen to his conversation. He was a kind man. I've seen him in action. I've known JB very well. He talked to me a few days before he passed. I respect him. He was willing to try to help himself and help his family and his kids. He talked to me. Ladies and gentlemen, I really appreciate each and every one of you who stopped by to pay your final respect. And may God bless you in every way you turn and wherever you go. May you prosper. And may God continue to bless each and every one of you in every way possible. May God bless you. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Nola Stewart. Charmaine Ewan Peaches. <laughs> King David, the psalmist said, the days of our years are three, three score years and 10. And if by reason of strength, they be four score years, yet is their strength, labor and sorrow, for it is soon cut off and we fly away. We stand here this evening to pay our last respect to Leslie, JB, Bolo, Reverend. Bolo and I grew up together on Dalling Street in Savnamar. He was a very, very sociable young man. I can remember back in the days when he passed the overage exam and went to Stets. And even though we were at Manning's, we still had that bond. When he came down for holidays, we used to sit together. We used to, I used to be at their house. We used to cook together, everything. And everybody that stands before this podium this evening will reiterate the same thing. Leslie had a kind heart. He had a heart of gold. He was a caring person. And I can remember back in the days when I used to visit with my children in the summertime. Anytime he sees us, Leslie used to dig deep into his pocket and gave my children money, some money. And I had him on my DP and my son called me from Florida and he said, mommy, who is that man that died? Is it the man that used to give us money back in the days? I said, yes. JB, same one. He always, my children could always say thanks to JB. And I have family whom my children have never said thank you. Mm -hmm. So I rise today to show my respect. Mm -hmm. His children and his grandchildren, you are blessed mm -hmm. because of Leslie's kind heart. Mm -hmm. Everything that he had, he shared. The word of God also says we should not give to the rich because if you give to the rich, 
you're going to come to want one day. May his soul rest in eternal peace. Amen. Reverend JB. You know why he got the name, Reverend JB? Gave away everything. Everything. He gave away his last dollar. He sees you now, and he has the last dollar, and he made it. He's given it to you. He doesn't believe in the wrong. That's why he got his name, Reverend. I have so many history with Leslie. I cannot. I would have to stand here today for a whole month. We go like um, 50 years and back. He loved his children very much. Jojo, Dada, Ebony, Joy, to name a few. Sorry if I left any out. The last text message I got from him, these are all messages. We go back since we're children. One of the message I, the last, one of the last message I got from him, he said, Peaches, you sound like a psychiatrist because I said something to him. So Peaches, you sound like a psychiatrist. Sometimes love never dies, we'll talk. Yeah. And then in the, on the WhatsApp messages, he sent me some joke from, um, What's this guy? Um, her, the name Chin, Tess and Chin sister, husband. Yeah, yeah, she sent me a joke. Wayne Marshall. Wayne Marshall sent me a joke on Wayne Marshall in February. And then he sent me a text that um, he's not feeling well because his leg hurts and he has to go to the bathroom pretty often. We were that close, very kind gentleman. He was out, he was there for me, I was there for him. It's still surreal, I can't believe he's gone. But he would want me to continue. Like I said, I would have to stand here a whole month to talk about JB, Leslie. And I, I'm glad I could stand here to pay my last respects to him. I love that man forever in my life. Amen. 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 Anyone else comes? Come here, man. Come on. Who got to go first? You put your brother on the spot. <laughs> come, but what do you come together? <sighs> it's our script. Um, if you want to say, I ain't see what you got on your mind. Are you on the first? Uh, I miss first sign. I carry the name Leslie Medford Buddington. <laughs> I tell you, growing up, that was a tough name, boy. I said that, man. You, you hit me with a pump fake. But, uh, <laughs> uh, that's crazy. Uh, honestly, you know, I was the first one, you know, and we all got memories of him, but uh, obviously, I didn't have as many as most that I hear amongst our siblings. And, I had a little resentment, to be honest, you know, but I, I've talked to smart people, got older, and the main key is he had a great heart. That's the main thing. Like you say, he knew what he knew for what he did, you know, use the tools that he had. And um, I love the fact that the positive things for me, you know, swag, you know, ladies, man, I'm just like him. I, mean, <laughs> I, I, I love it, though. You know, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm happy, you know, I'm a, I'm, my mother said, boy, you just like your dad. Well, you ain't, you know, you ain't gonna never be with one woman. And, you know, she, 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 I've been speaking from the heart. I don't know. I, don't, I didn't plan to come up. So I'm good. My baby bro put the pressure on me. I'm happy to be him. You know, it's crazy. Like, I got a lot of siblings that I really don't know and don't have a connection. And at times I was frustrated about that too. Like, man, you know, it's a lot of us, but that buddy to name, I love what you said earlier, man. We all sharp, like, ah, we know not to break, you know, it's just what it is, you know. I think 
me personally speaking for myself, I've been getting in my own way, like my father has. You know, if we get out our own way, we're gonna be blessed. But we are blessed, you know. And and like I remember growing up, baby coming to New York when I was a kid, you know, and I was like, man, my dad, the man, you know, I see him moving through the streets. Like, wow, you know, I, he's somebody, you know what I'm saying? A little onyx, you know, man. <laughs> I don't know. What do you want to say? I just wish my dad would be alive. I just wish my dad would stay alive for Y'all looking at the what? The first and the last, right? <laughs> we gotta carry it on, my boy. We gotta carry it on. <laughs> you know? You know? You know? You know? You know? He used to buy me toys. That's it. Thank you. Anyone else? Yeah, they coming right now. They sitting there acting like they don't want to come up. Good evening. I can't hear y'all. <laughs> My name is Tracy Jackson Johnson. I actually used to be married to Avril Johnson's son, and that's how I met Leslie. Leslie was the neighbor of my best friend, Varishon McQueen, with my sister over here who's afraid to get up but crying. They were neighbors. The McQueens lived on the bottom. Leslie lived on the top, and I know everybody knew Andre Harrell, who had founded Uptown Records. He used to live on the top of them. And he was so pleasant, so, so pleasant. And they always say when you die, when people, and you see when people show up, the amount of love that the person had, you could tell in this room. Everybody has a different story that they share with him. I said, when I saw Steve, I was like, wow, when I was a little girl, I was actually maybe about 13 and now I'm 52. And it's just a blessing and I couldn't miss it. Sandra called me, she came into Florida and I live in Jersey and I said, I have to be there. And I called my sister, she said, I just saw him. So we, you know, we had to come and pay our respects. And all I can say is everybody in here, y'all have siblings, you said that you didn't even know your siblings. And I'm gonna say this to you from somebody that just met my brother oh. last week. Keep in touch with your family because that's yeah. all we have. Yeah. No matter what, we may go through things, but we could work it out. And we, none of us are perfect. Yeah. Nobody is perfect. They may act like they are, <laughs> but nobody is perfect. And don't never let nobody steal your joy. Yeah. These are your siblings. Show love. Look. She asked for, uh, for a Red Bull. I went to the store and got it for your sister. I don't even know your sister. But just the fact that she wanted it. And that's what we need to do more for each other. If somebody don't have it, give it. It's not a big deal. And don't talk about it. That's how I was raised. But I had to say something. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Tell BJ, which is my grandmother. Tell Abu Johnson when we say hello. We love them. And good night. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Good evening. <laughs> I am your cousin. <laughs> he was my favorite uncle. I mean, I have a lot of uncles, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he was my favorite. I remember the last time we talked. Steve told me how oh, proud you were for me. And you know the Buddingtons love to be proud. <laughs> and, <laughs> and you know, we always strive for the best all the time. So here to hear from Sam that you're doing good makes me feel good. And I love all y'all. Okay. And like the lady said before, we gotta stay in touch. I'm not perfect. Keep in touch with my family. Dad knows he's a, he has a meal all the time about that. But 
I'm here. I'm in Morris Park. I'm not too far. If y'all in New York, if y'all need me up here and to see everybody from here all the way to the back, show love to my uncle. I really appreciate it because he was so he was such a great person. And anyone that got to know him is blessed. And I am just blessed to have his genetics, right? <laughs> and from my family. We love you so much. And it's not going to be the last time we see him because, you know, one day we're not going to be here. And I can't wait to see him on the other side. I love you. All right, folks, I think uh, I'm going to shut it down now. I think. Yeah, I'll shut it down. And, uh, And I said to my family, we, we got to stay in touch. Uh, I always find them. You, know, you ever see me flying over the place all the time, visiting my family in Florida. I'm all over the place. See my brother and sister. I got to see them. I got to see them. I got to see them. And I always encourage them to stay in touch. I encourage my daughter to stay in touch with her sister in Dallas, for Christ's sake. You know what I mean? No text I said, no text. Phone call. Phone call. Call. <laughs> always call. Stay in touch with your tongue, man. Family is important. So I, I try my best to connect with my family and I encourage everyone and to really try to send up to the family and friends and brothers and sisters. And, and it's important to, to take some time off and connect. You know, it's a blessing. But uh, I appreciate y'all coming and, and, and spending this time with us. Uh, information and replays is on the back of the program. But, um, for those who can't read, I can't help you. That, that's part of the problem. <laughs> You gotta go yeah. back to freaking get some. I'm, I'm joking. Okay, it's a 106 West First Street, Mount Vernon, uh, eight through twelve. So if you have time to to stop by, stop by. But be careful; the weather is kind of bad, and and uh, if you want to pass through. But uh, those are my last words. Hopefully, not my last words. <laughs> be careful, <laughs> and, and and thank God for coming, and and and, and God bless, God bless.
Thank <laughs> you. 